Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today is going to be a really quick video just showing you how I clean up my tools after use or like these ones which I purchased from a car boot sale flea market, whatever you want to call it and they're full of cement and plaster it's really easy to do and it's very important you maintain your tools because if you look after them, they'll look after you everybody knows that now, there's many different ways or many different methods you can use you can use penetrating oil which is what I use you can use WD-40 which is a penetrant anyway you can use brick acid I've heard people using diesel hot soapy water there's many different things what you can do you can just bang them on a bucket or a brick wall till it all falls off but it's best to treat them as well you know add a little oil after the, afterwards and then wipe it off before next use just to keep them tip top condition really so let's go ahead and I'll quickly show you what I do. So right off the bat guys, we'll start with the worst one here. Now as for penetrating oil, I tend to use WD-40, purely because I get it extremely cheap. But there is other penetrants out there that you can use, and I'm sure all the people have different methods as well. But we'll go ahead and spray this on here. And then we'll leave that for a second let it bed in and then we'll scrape it off. What I tend to use is a glass scraper. or it is a scraper with a Stanley blade in it. Or you can use a scraper, just a normal wallpaper scraper, putty knife, whatever you want to call it. Or you can even go to the extremes of using another tool, which I don't really like to do, to be honest with you. So what we're going to do now is just take our hammer and we're going to lightly tap the top of the trowel just to kind of help free up any solid pieces of cement that we might have on there and whatever else is on there as well. I mean this is in pretty poor condition so we may have to go and use the, uh, the wallpaper scraper. Hold your ears, you may experience camera wobble so I do apologise. And then we're going to go ahead and scrape it off. And there we have it. That's the best it's gonna be, I think. It's still not perfect. Bit of rust on it that we're gonna to have to scrape off, put some oil on it, shine this back up and we'll be good as new. I mean, to be fair, we could have just grinded it off. But this is a demonstration of how to take care of your tools. And I mean, look at all this gunk here. I mean, look at that. So really, you always wanna take care of your tools. And that's not actually came up too bad. A damn sight better than it was. A little bit of polishing up and will be as good as new. Perfectly good backup trowel there. And the guy only sold it for 10p. <laughs> it's all up there. That's disgusting, isn't it? Just going to show you what a bit of penetrating oil can do. So let me know what you guys do to clean your tools up in the comments below. And I might even give it a go myself. So I hope that does help you guys. Make sure you drop me a comment below of any more ideas what you've got because I'm open to new things. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.